This short video is going to demonstrate for you how to create your resource submission form in Google Docs and then how to embed the form as well as the page that displays anything that's submitted into the form onto some Weebly pages in your Weebly site. So the first step in completing this part of the project is to create the resource submission form. And so as indicated on the project website, you're going to create the resource submission form and you're also going to create a page that will where you can view the resources. And then um, when you create the form, you're creating a form with four fields in it, the resource title, the web address, the type of resource. And you'll do that in a um, in a drop down uh, option and then a description of how it might be useful as a classroom resource. So um, I'm just going to demonstrate for you how to create the um, just a couple of these fields just to make it go quickly. But you'll get the idea and you can rewatch this video if you need a, a little more um, experience understanding that process. So I'm going to go to my Google Drive and you have a Google Drive space as well. Um, what you need to do, the first thing is to, under new, you can create um, a form. And I'm gonna have to go down to more, there it is, and I'll go to Google Forms, and we have some options, and I'm gonna just pick a blank form is the option that I'm gonna pick. Okay, so I am gonna call my form, um, I'm gonna call this the resource submission form. And I know that the, um, that the first um, field, let me see, it needs to be resource title. So go back here. So I want this to be a, a, a short answer, um, not, not a multiple choice. So I'm going to select resource title, put a colon there. So that'll show up in the form as a, as a short answer item. I'll say that everything is going to be required um, for each of these entries. Then I'm just going to create another uh, question on my form. And in this case, I want the, uh, the website address, I believe. Website address. Let's make sure that's right. I'll go back to the project page. The web address, yes. Okay. And that is also going to be short answer. Uh, oh, what the heck, I'll put in one more. And this is going to be the one that is going to be um, the, the resource type. And you don't have to ha use the exact same categories that I recommend on the project page. Um, it could be whatever makes sense to you. And this is not going to be multiple choice. It's going to be a drop down. So I just select a drop down for the item type. Um, and I'll put web page as the first uh, resource type. Um, another resource type is it might be some kind of an app um, that you that you uh, find very useful. Some of the other suggestions include um, a website, a web page, uh, a specific document, an image, a video. Um, so it could be any and all, any or all of those things. Whatever makes the best sense to you. Okay, so once you complete. Your, your form, oh, and of course it needs a website address. Yes, it does. All right, there we go. And resource type, I'm, I'm not gonna make that, um, I'm not gonna make that uh, required just, uh, just, just because. Okay, um, so what I want to do now, now, now I'm, I'm ready, I, I finished my form, I, I create it, and now I want to embed this on a web page in Weebly. And so what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to click on the untitled form page, uh, form title up there, just to make sure that it's the same as the one that I have listed as the title. All right, so um, by the way, um, you can change the theme of, of your questioning if you don't like that color, if purple uh, brings back some bad memories. We don't really have to get go into it, but you might prefer green, which is my favorite color, incidentally. And, um, and you can select your font style to be something a little bit different if you don't like the, 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 the plain font style, the sans serif style there. Okay, so I've done that. Now I want to embed this in my web page. Um, well, first of all, first of all, before you do this, click on the responses option at the top and you'll notice, well, I don't have any responses yet because nobody submitted anything, um, but 
I want to be able to embed my responses onto another web page. And so to do that, I will um, actually click on this little, um, this little it, spreadsheet um, option, little button there, and go ahead and keep the default, which is to create a new spreadsheet. And I'm gonna create that. So now it will automatically create the spreadsheet and save it in the same spot where your form is saved, wherever that is on your Google Drive. And you can go change those locations later if you want. So here I have my, um, my, my, my responses. Now you're gonna have to make sure that under sharing, you make this public, otherwise it will load on the web page and nobody will be able to see the resources. So you always have to make sure that you do that. So that's done. Um, another thing that I want to do, um, well, now I'm going to go back to my submission form because you're going to want to embed this onto a Weebly page. And the way you do that is the same way you embed any type of file in Weebly that requires the use of the embed um, the embed element or widget in Weebly. You'll click on share and um, I'm going to click on get a shareable link and that's not what I want. When you want to share the resource submission form, you don't do what I did, although you, you might, it might make sense. What you actually have to do is go up under file and you have to create publish to the web. Ah, there it is. I click on publish to the web, I grab the embed code, and I don't want the entire document embedded, I just want the, the, the one form that, that I'm looking at, the, uh, or the form responses on the first sheet. This allows you to, to make it so that you only view one sheet that you've uh, created. So you do that and then you click the publish button, and then it will give you your iframe code. This is what you'll embed on your Weebly page. Um, well, I'll just demonstrate this for you right now. So, um, so check this out. I'm gonna copy that code. I'm gonna go to Weebly. I'm gonna create a new page, standard page. Um, I'll call this um, resource responses. I forgot exactly how I wanted that um, to be called, but all that information is in the project page. I, of course, do not want a header on my page. Thank you very much. So I've got my resource responses and I will click on the build tab and I will drag the embed code over here and I will click to set it. I'll edit that code. I will paste the code, the information that I got from the, um, from the Google, um, from Google. And that is done. Now, this is really important because you, you'll notice that when I did this initially, by default, it, it creates a tiny, little, um, a tiny little resource form window. So I actually have to edit my code so that it, it creates a bigger, um, a, 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 a larger window to view. And I actually don't have any parameters for that indicated in this uh, code. So, so watch a, a subsequent video that I'm going to make and I will, I will show you what to put in there so that you can create a larger page for uh, view, a larger page view for this. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back to where I was before in Google docs with my form. And I want to put this on a separate page called uh, resource submission form um, in my Weebly site. Now to do that, um, again, I, uh, in this case, I don't have to go and publish it to the web. All I have to do is click on the send option up here and you'll notice in my options, there's the classic embed uh, logo right there. And here's something cool. This actually lets you set the, the width and the height by pixel. So, um, so I'm going to click 100 or 800 pixels but and my height I'm going to click 800 now I can adjust this once I get to my page um, and you're probably going to want the height to be a little bit bigger than this once you um, in, once you start to view a lot of resources okay so I've done that I set my width and height 
I got my embed HTML. I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. All right. So I'm going to close that out. I'm going to go back to my Weebly site. I have to create a new page. And this new page, standard page, is going to be called uh, resource submission form. And I'm done with that. And I will, um, oops, I'm not done with it because I still have a header on that. Nope, no header. Everything else is done. Okay, so I'm going to go back here. Here's my page. I'm going to go to my build icon, uh, my, my build menu option, and I'm going to drag over the embed code. And I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to embedded it. I'm going to paste it. And there I have. I've pasted it. And notice there is some, co some code here for uh, width equals and height equals. Okay, now I don't need to make another video to edit the um, the form where these resources are displayed because I'm just going to use this video. Thank you very much. I am going to copy all of this stuff: the width, the height, the frame border, and all of that. I'm going to I'm going to take those parameters that are going to be displayed in the form, and I'm going to copy just that part of the code. Look at that! You're going to be a coder by the time you're done with this. You're going to be able to get a high-paying job. All right, so that is that, and you'll notice. See how much more is displayed on this page because of those parameters. Um, so this one looks like it's ready to go. Um, oh, don't need to don't need to edit that. Once it's published, people can just fill out the form. And now I'm going to go back to my resource responses page, and I'm going to edit my HTML. And notice that I have some code here, and I've got widget true all that's the 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 header equals false. So it's after that piece of after that last after the last um, um, quotation mark there. I'm going to paste the code that I included there. Just paste it right after it, right at the end, right before you get to the end closing bracket right there. So I did that and I moved my cursor away and noticed that now I can see my entire form. Now I can see the whole thing. Um, and I, I do want you to know that like, um, for example, first of all, notice that my form has, it's showing the timestamp. Get rid of that. And also it doesn't look like my website address or my resource title. There might not be enough space enough space there to um, to present the information. It might get cut off. So um, what you can do to, you, you adjust this in the actual spreadsheet. So I'm going to go back to my Google, um, my Google uh, page here, and I'm going to hide the first column because I it automatically records a timestamp and I don't want to do that. I can drag my resource title area a little bit bigger. Same with the website address. I can drag that a little bit bigger if I want. Um, and then there's the resource type. And you're going to have a fourth a fourth category, which is going to be descriptions. And that, that, that'll come later um, if, when you do your actual form. So there, I just, I just did that. And one thing about Google uh, Docs is you don't have to save it. You don't, it saves automatically. So it just keeps saving. So just to demonstrate this for you, I'm going to go back to my Weebly. Here's my form. I'm going to right mouse click on this and I'm going to reload that frame. And there, hopefully, oops, I just killed it. Now I have to go have lunch and then I'll come back. I will hit the uh, refresh my entire Weebly site. That always happens when you're doing something in Weebly, you know, something just doesn't go right. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and go to, whoa, I have a lot of pages. Um, I'm going to go to my resource responses page. There it is coming in. And notice that it now displays the page with a larger resource title area, larger website area, and, and a resource type, which will be data that comes from the dropdown. And that is it. That's what you need to do. It's so awesome because now you're going to be connecting your website to some documents that you create in, in, in Google Docs. And this can be a very, very powerful management tool for you if you wanted to create forms for any reason for to collect data from your students from parents and if you wanted to embed that data and 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 display it in for some reason uh, in some capacity group projects or, or whatnot this is a really awesome uh, way to do that so good luck